everyone, it's Liam Carlson here. It's time for the final two episodes of Modern Family Season 1. Um, it's just gone by like that. It's been a really, really fantastic uh, first season. Uh, and hopefully there's going to be many more amazing seasons to come as we uh, conclude the first out of many, of course. Uh, 11 seasons, I think there are all together. But uh, uh, again, um, with the fact that I have gone through season one just like that, it'll be no time before you know, I will conclude this show. So yeah, but we don't want to think all doom and gloom and all of that. Um, we want to reflect on what will most likely be a really, really amazing two episodes, um, especially if we're going to be going to Hawaii, uh, as of course the last episode we had everyone um, be at the airport, have their fair share of issues, especially with Mitch when it came to him forgetting stuff. Um, but yeah, I I'm imagining these last two episodes are going to take place in Hawaii, because like I said in the last episode, I can't imagine the last episode to just have airport issues and all of that for certain people. And then these two episodes are just like uh, as if nothing happened. So, yeah, but... Um I'm looking forward to getting into these two episodes. Uh, so with that said, uh, let's get into the first of these two episodes to conclude season one of Modern Family. It's episode number 23. Let's go. Boy, for our honeymoon, mm -hmm. but something else came up. Oh. I got pregnant with Haley. My bad. Ah. We didn't even have a proper wedding. We just went down to the courthouse on a Tuesday. The oh. judge sentenced me to life with no chance of parole. Are we you going me, to... Are you? It's true, I didn't. <laughs> oh, hold on my... Yeah, that's, that's Phil in a nutshell. Now, are we going to have the... the wedding to make up for it? Who would we entertain? Who would we entertain? I know some lovely <laughs> tweens down by the kids' club. Maybe we can find a nice spot near them by the pool and send over a couple of virgin Mai Tais. They may oh my, be interested in two sophisticated stop. men like us. Jesus. I am a bathroom Martian. Beep, boop. Holy. Listen, they put on the littlest bit of sunscreen in the morning. They think it's got them covered. For the Are you watching Gloria in my sunglasses? She's <laughs> so much in my brain doing that. Phil, this is important. Oh, oh my God, Phil, come hey, on. Hey, everybody, we're on our way to see the world's largest banyan tree. On safari in Tanzania, we actually send him all of our old clothes. Frank, he says, he was a very relax. nice man when we met him, but based on his recent letters, I have a small fear he's become a warlord. Oh my god. <laughs> Babe, I'm gonna go to the gym to work out a little bit. You wanna come with me? I Joe oh, dad was 63 when he died. Huh? Hello? Thanks for reminding me. I don't worry. It's he good job Luke's not here. Ain't like Frank too much. Anyway, I reached back and Oh hey, no. Oh hey. no, he's been put Hi. off. Hot. Her hair straightened. <gasps> Claire, consider this a grand gesture of my love. <laughs> what are you oh my! Oh my God! <laughs> what did you do? Oh, Phil, what is this? How much is that? Expensive cell phones. Yeah, how beginning. much did that cost? Okay, your seatbelt, lady. You're being wooed. My brother scared the hell out of me. Apparently I so. I decided to get in better shape quick. Didn't want to end up like my old man. Oh. Although he did die doing what he loved. Refusing service to hippies who came into his store. <laughs> Man, it's the worst roommate ever. Every you guys don't even watch the news. Aloha. Hi, sorry folks. This pool is for adults only. Aww. Don't turn around. What? Trust me, just keep walking. <laughs> Wait, what guys? What just They're just ditching them. Just go by yourself. But the lavender ranch, it's, it's something two men are meant to do together. Oh. On or off, folks. Well, I'm on. I'm off. I feel so bad. I feel so bad for me. Here goes another one. There you go. Oh my Here God. Goes there you go. <gasps> oh my God. <laughs> I thought you were one of ours. <laughs> oh my okay. God. Be careful. You're gonna hurt somebody. I'm going to be able to relax, but all this swimming and running and rowing. It's just like how some of my relatives got into this country. Oh God! Oh my! You know, <laughs> oh, he's just had a little scare. <laughs> okay. All right. Best mom ever. Oh God, that feels weird and good all at once. <laughs> I know. I was leaning up against that nozzle a minute ago. <laughs> I don't think she. 
I don't think she means that was good. Okay. Oh, sweet Lady Gaga, that is good. Oh, thank you. It's not so bad, is it? Mm. What's this called? Happiness. Oh. <laughs> now it's like, if we're tense, she's gonna be tense. No, no! Oh my what? god! What? what happened? You oh no! Stir. <laughs> she is in our bathroom throwing up. Well, what happened? You're not going uh, to like this as much as I do, but she's drunk. Oh, uh, no. That's awesome. Guarantee our bathroom is still messier. <laughs> she's upstairs throwing up. But she's just a kid who would serve her. We did, honey, on a silver platter. <laughs> you convinced me to relax and let go, and now this happens. I'm sorry, but we, we shouldn't feel bad about wanting a little help for ourselves. Sweetie. No one this... We have kids. You've got to let. Lily, where are you going? Huh? <laughs> Lily thought she could escape Jay's birthday oh dinner. My God. I'm so sorry. Oh my God. Does this happen every time you drink? Yes. <laughs> <Stop>. <laughs> Jay, over here. Just put your off for good. Hey. By the way, I just want to thank you for this trip. It's really been a vacation. Oh my a god. <laughs> Nothing weird. Aloha. Phil. Oh no. I keep my wallet in my front pocket, so that's, that's what that is. For someone. Lily, I'm so worried. We just got distracted. Oh, we're idiots. Hi. Don't beat yourself up. I used to lose money all the time. Oh my oh, god. I lost your father. These things happen. <laughs> <laughs> Just right casually. <laughs> Did she say my father's missing? <laughs> <laughs> I love that. They're not concerned. I mean, granted, Lily's a baby, but still, they're just like, huh, okay. Liked him, my old man. I'm sure. And he'd have loved you. My God, that guy, he was a charmer. Mm, I know that died. Where he gets it from. And we had a lot of fun. My legs, my arms, my back, everything is sore. So out, She's just eh? carrying everyone this whole day. Don't get cocky, old man. When I sit down, I can still get up. Hey. <laughs> okay. Come on. Oh. Come here. Oh. Come here. The working banana plantation. Lily! Where they promptly lost Lily again. Oh my I god. Again? I thought it would be cute. Go <laughs> think she's back in Vietnam. Lily! <laughs> Lily! Me and Claire? Put a few seconds back on the clock. The kid still has a few oh, moves. They're oh getting that wedding! I figured out why we couldn't have a honeymoon. Oh. Because we never had a wedding. You may kiss your bride. Oh. Oh. I present to you still as husband and wife, Mr. and Mrs. Dumfries. Yay! Oh, I have the tiger. I love it. <laughs> I just want to make you happy. Okay. God's sake. The idea of what a you would Vicky marry. Conroy, probably. She works in my office. She's very organized. The kids. That was her. quick. If anything were to happen to me, I, I something's won't. gonna happen to you, all right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a little too fast there, Phil. I mean, like, just saying okay to like Claire's um statement about like if anything were to I mean that was a crazy Topic to bring up, like, oh, if anything were to happen to me, I'd want you to remarry. Like, come on, that's just crazy. But it's even crazier that Phil, like, not even a second, as if, like, I was saying, like, if someone was to ask me, um, who's your um, celebrity crush? Not, not even a second to entertain the idea. Not even half a second. It's always going to be Karen Gillan. Yeah, it, it was just like that for Phil. Sheesh. Um, so yeah, I'm surprised though that we ended um, an episode early in terms of like the whole Hawaii sitch because uh, yeah, like I said, I mean, I was expecting um, the shenanigans at Hawaii to last um, 
these next two episodes. Um, so to kind of end it at the, like the, well, at the end of this episode is, uh, um, yeah, something I wasn't accounting for. Um, but again, like I said, I was just expecting these next two episodes to be okay. I'm gonna focus on Hawaii, back to basics, I guess, um, when season two starts up. Um, so I'll be very intrigued to see what the next episode's gonna encapsulate, but, uh, still, it was a lot of fun, uh, this episode. It was just really, really amazing to see the shenanigans that went down. Um, yeah. Poor, poor Haley. <laughs> you know, when, um, you know, you, you have that say, ah, oh, I'm never drinking again. Well, yeah. Haley, Haley's in that position, especially with the fact that her mom has uh, re has reinforced it in terms of like, oh yeah, it's always like this. Just just put the fear of uh, of of drinking into them. So yeah, this is why you don't drink. Um, and it's on brand for Claire as well. She's gonna want her kids to have the best, uh, have like have the best as possible. So yeah, and um, yeah. It was, uh, oh, it was just really, really wild, uh, because of the fact that, um, yeah, Claire let loose. She let her guard down. It's like letting your guard down for one second. It's so funny, though. I love that moment where it's like, I'm not, you know, I'm always going to be keeping my eye on my kids. Lily was in the middle of the uh, elevator. Didn't keep an eye on that, did you? So, yeah. Oh, man. But. No, I am really, really glad as well that, um, yeah, that we had that moment with Phil and, uh, and, and Claire's renewal, I guess, um, because, um, yeah, it was that whole case of, um, yeah, it was that whole case of they never got that wedding. They got married at a courthouse and they want, it seemed like they wanted it to be official, etc. but they never got that chance and they never got that chance to go to Hawaii for their honeymoon. So them going to Hawaii and them mentioning the prospect that they never had that opportunity when they got married, I was thinking, are they going to do, are they going to do a makeup scenario like, um, to kind of, um, fill in that missing gap and all of that because uh you got the opportunity to do so take the op uh, take the chance whilst you can and that they did so uh i thought it was really really sweet from phil um you know he really does pull through um uh, you know, he could be a goofball but he does uh pull through so i really really loved that he was able to to um keep an awareness about the fact that um you know there are uh, that that they never got that chance, and he can make it up to to Claire here, um, which really does show you know how much he does love her. So yeah, and vice versa, of course. But Phil was the one who mastermind this whole thing. So, and I'm wondering if everyone else was involved. I'm I'm guessing everyone else was involved, but Claire was obviously out the loop. So yeah, um. But even prior to the wedding, I mean, Phil was making sure t that Claire would have the best um, vacation ever, th to have that relaxed vacation and all of that. So, hence why he was the one to allow Claire to let the guard down, um, etc. So, yeah, it was just really, really great to see. Um, I really loved uh, the whole Cam and Mitch situation. Them just losing Lynn twice twice um that was just wild um but i also really really loved of course the uh the the, the plot as well in terms of because this whole um you know this whole episode was individual characters trying to make their hawaii trip memorable as possible for good or bad I guess when you when you got to consider Haley because first time she, I, I'm guessing that was the first time she got drunk, and uh, yeah, um, that's that's gonna be I guess a core memory. But uh, again, this uh, episode was really about these characters making um, memorable moments whilst they're at Hawaii. Of course, Phil and Claire need it be said, um, but for Mitch and Cam, Mitch specifically, he. 
um, that he went into a bit of backstory in regards to how his parents just laid there, and and there was that itch really for um, apart from the sunburn uh, that he mentioned. Um, there was that itch that Mitch. There was that itch that Mitch. It was that itch that Mitch, eh? Uh, no, but there was that itch that he had in regards to um, wanting to to be active, to to you know make the most of this um, opportunity that he's he might not get again, etc. Because um, you know when you're on holiday, you do want to make it memorable. But some people just want to relax and uh, uh, be like be like Jay, just just chill, etc. Uh, of course, that wasn't him in this episode. We'll get to that in a moment. But some people just want to go sightseeing and all of that. And that's okay. Like, we have our own, uh, I guess, definition of relaxation, don't we? When it comes to um, going on holiday. And again, like I said, it, it you know, it can be you just relaxing in the sun. Uh, or you could just be sightseeing or whatever um there's no like rules and all of that and uh for for mitch he just wanted to um you know sightsee and all of that and uh you know cam wanted to make him happy but of course he had his own needs as well his own definition of relaxation so but uh, again he wanted to make mitch happy so um yeah um and again with jay and all of that like deep down he jay wants to relax but there is that uh, more. Uh, there is that mortality uh, uh, feeling in him, right? When uh, obviously um, he got the he got the message from his brother. Uh, oh, you're the same age as Dad was when he died. Yeah, that's a really really great uh, boost for. But they do banter up a bit, so I'm assuming it, oh, he'll he'll take it on the chin. Um, but there is that fear of mortality for for for. Um, for Jay, uh, because of the fact that he got reminded, and uh, it's it, it, it it's funny because I was thinking back to episode eight, I think it was when Luke, uh, like when uh, every when Alex especially kept teasing the prospect of, oh, you know, um, Jay's not going to be here forever, and then Luke got paranoid, like, oh no, um, and it is funny how I guess it's funny how Jay uh, took that to heart in this episode where. Um, he decided, you know what, I'm going to do everything and everything to make sure that I extend my life as much as possible. So that means going to the gym, that means not eating um, junk food, etc. So, but deep down, he wanted to relax, didn't he? So, yeah. But, yeah, it was a really, really uh, great, fun episode. So, yeah, let's get into uh, the final one, then. Uh, uh this is episode number 24. Can't believe it. We're here, folks. Uh, next one, uh, next episode will be the beginning of season two. So with that said, let's start this final episode of season one for Modern Family. Let's go. When someone tells me I can't bring my own snacks into their stadium, oh, that's when I get a little nuts. Oh, for fuck's country, sake. Right? Let's God's just say sake. it ruffles me when some goobers tell me I have to spend half my payday. My on their God. <laughs> stop! Stop! I don't speak the same language. She's Portuguese. Do you know how offensive it is that you put all of us in the same mixing pot? I'm oh sorry. Please my to her when you tell her God! Not to put my underwear. I can't talk to her. Jesus, Jay. <laughs> I'm still getting dressed. Hey, mom. I think my diet's working. My underwear won't stay up. <laughs> She's like, I told you. Told you. Oh shit, it's that actually. What? That's actually Kobe Bryant, isn't it? No preparation next time. You know? I do. I know I don't show it, but this family's still the most important Screw thing it. that I... I'm gonna fix the bathroom. I mean, seriously, oh. how can it be? <laughs> Your father can do it, I can do it, right? right. Oh, we're gonna resolve the broken I step! Just, quick, quick, tell me something to say that'll freak him out. Tell him I'm pregnant! Oh, God. No, oh, I'm gonna say that. Oh, my God! <laughs> well, here we go. How funny is this? <laughs> oh, oh! Oh, no! Well, that was 
pretty funny. <laughs> oh no, oh no. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> oh no, I'm getting flashbacks. Okay, bye. As long as I don't what? As long, the cam, as long as I don't. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Wouldn't it be embarrassing if the camera was on us and then the crowd were related? Not bad blood. Touch me and there will be blood. Hi, come on, it's not a big deal. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Yo! Damn! Try you on TV. You're dead. Oh no. The thing. Oh the kiss no. Is only supposed to be for the enjoyment of the people at the game. They never show that it, on TV. Mm, yeah, he got the wrong idea. What do in the privacy? Do you know who cut Martin Luther King Jr.'s hair? Neither does Luke's teacher. So, the barbershop was in Washington? Okay. <laughs> yes. Jay. Oh, Kennedy's Richard Nixon. All the How do they know? Were they there? Over kitchen to get your milk. <sighs> oh no. I'm killing it. Mitch, not so much. <laughs> greatest singer that ever lived after Sinatra. I'll fight any man who says different. My dad says the greatest singer Bowie, who ever lived. I'll fight you now, Bryce. Jay. And I guess I gotta fight your dad. <laughs> The house is a disaster. Can we do this picture at your place? Yeah. That, that's not gonna work. <laughs> the is the pigeon okay? <laughs> for everything. Honey, you just go change and we'll talk about what you did later. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much for those tickets. Gloria tells me you had a real good time. Oh, really? No, I didn't. God, I love your daughter. Oh, my God. Oh! oh. I, should, I should come by and kiss that step. Fix that step. <laughs> <laughs> oh, acting like I wanted to just... Of course, because I'm Latina, I'm supposed to know everything about gardening and sprinklers. You were here when they installed it. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, the boxes across the yard. You mean now soaking wet yard? That's great. They're screwed. No, we're not. We haven't unwrapped our secret weapon yet. Oh, Luke walks no. Over there. Oh. Her locker. It's, it's more like squirt locker. <laughs> really? That wasn't funny? That was gold. That was gold. Yay! We're happening when we took it. Phil, we'll talk about what you did later. Okay, everybody. Eyes over here. I didn't do anything. She kissed me. Oh, what? no! Oh! Who kissed you? Gloria. <laughs> what? You oh, no. Cam. Why did you kiss Cam? No, I kissed you. He thought I'd try to make Mitchell do something he doesn't want to oh, do. Oh, shut sh up, Cam. Okay, oh. stop it. Stop it. <laughs> Everyone, listen, this took me forever to put together, so I don't really care who kissed who and who's got a pimple on her head and who is wearing an outrageously inappropriate dress. We oh, are wow. obsessed with everything being perfect. Look at us here all in white. What are we, a cricket team? Newsflash, <laughs> life is not perfect. Well, now, calm the that hell down. True, okay, but, Dad, oh, that's true, but oh, damn. And that's, oh, oh, oh no. I got this, baby. Oh, no, no! Oh, oh, I see where this is going. Dirty. Well, three. Oh! Okay, you know what? That's for kitchen. this? No, no, we're not. I love how Gloria... I spoke too soon. I was gonna say, I love how Gloria just doesn't have any on her, but... <laughs> Wound up with this sorry bunch. And I'm but you can't complain. Well, most days. 
I think I'm just gonna go with the Elvis stuff. Oh, come yeah. on, Luke. I love that picture. Yeah, I think it's perfect. Is that a chip on the frame? No. Right there? Oh no. my god. It's funny. <laughs> Saving Grace. Ah, oh, bad. That was great. No, that was great. No, honestly, I feel like that picture is perfect. I think it's a perfect uh, capture of the dynamic of this family. Um, because of course during this episode you had the, uh, you had Claire basically. Uh, go through the, I guess, complications she had when it tries, when it comes to her trying to be a perfectionist of sorts. Um, but that's not this family, is it? I mean, yeah, there are like 10 other seasons out there, but I think, you know, the shenanigans that this family goes through, um, you can't create, oh, I dropped my headphones there. You can't create this, um, facade can you when it comes to what this family is like right um and i feel like there is a lot of tension of course when it comes to claire trying to i guess dictate about the uh like how clean and all that jazz the family should be right um it's it's kind of like a fabricated uh you know side of 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 the um, entire fa family um when in reality the uh the 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 you know picture that we did uh, i guess take and all of that th that that is that is the truth of the family they're chaotic and all of that and they love each other and that's when they're at their happiest isn't it when it comes to um you know the chaoticness and all of that you can't like with with what claire was trying to do initially that is not the capture of the family is it um it's more so um what the photographer initially what, what the photographer ultimately had and what they were ultimately content with so um and anyone who judges and all of that, they can go jump off a cliff because they do not get the quirks of this family. And that's what make and, and you know, they c can't exactly comment when they're not in the family, can they? So, yeah. They don't know the quirks. They don't... They're, they're, yeah. So, it's like none of their bees wax. So, yeah. Um... So I kind of like how that picture ultimately came around because I think that's perfect rather than, okay, well, we need things to be perfect in Claire's mind. And granted, she'll, al she'll always have that perfectionist in her in terms of like, this looks a centimeter out of place and all of that or, or, or yeah, but, you know, trying to, trying to seek perfection is a bit of a is a bit of a curse because there might be there might be something you initially think is perfect but you stare at it for too long and then you're like so yeah but yeah that is that is truly perfect that picture so i liked it um and you know what jay's monologue at the end was was really really nice as well so yeah I love the fact that he was bullshitting Luke about, oh, I I said this, I met this person, I did this person's hair and all of that, just to try and give Luke... Because Luke was getting bored, and so this is going to give a bit of it. So, you know, whereas Jay might, um, might have gone a bit too hard with the bullshitting, um, because he kept going and kept going, I'd say he did good. Considering the fact that he got Luke's attention and all of that, you think back to that episode when he did Van Gogh, uh, the you know the diagram, um, and yeah, you know uh, Luke's attention was fully fixated in terms of what Jay had to say. So yeah, so and then Jay, Jay did try to wing it in the end, but he's like, oh, I'll go with the Elvis story. So yeah, um. <laughs> But yeah, this was a wild, 
wild uh, final episode and I really loved it. Um, like I said in the last episode, I wasn't sure how this final episode would, would follow um, given the fact that I initially thought, okay, well, episodes 23 and 24 will focus on Hawaii um, and that's all well and good. Um, and you know what? I'm not complaining about the way that this episode transpired because this was just peak. This was just hilarious. Um, especially the bloody pigeon bit. Oh man, I gotta say, Cameron singing in the background just, 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 just sold it for me. Whilst Mitch just trying to catch, he's trying to be Dick Dastardly here. He's trying to catch the pigeon, right? Um, yeah, Mitch basically being Dick Dastardly was just really, it, it, that scene was just iconic. I just loved it. Um, but I mean, I, I just, found the whole pigeon arc uh, especially funny and per on a personal level as well and i will get killed for this but <laughs> um a couple of years ago um when i went to london to see some of my best friends um brianna hated pigeons i think she hates birds in particular but because london was scattered with pigeons um whenever some were in close proximity she the life left her body basically and uh yeah it it was a, a running joke that we that we all shared uh brie included um all we could look and we still do from time to time and all of that but um <laughs> Yeah, I, I I was just getting flashbacks to to Brianna um in London um just based on that uh, situation that did happen um when you know Mitch obviously reacted to the to, to the pigeon so granted it's in a house and all of that and you and and they can be because there were a couple of um jump scares that the pigeon enacted on. Uh, and all of that to Mitch. So you could say it's understandable, but I was just getting flashbacks um, and all of that. So, yeah. So. <laughs> uh, but like I said, that scene with him trying to kill a pigeon and all of that. Yeah. <laughs> that was just great. With Cameron singing in the background, just great stuff. Uh, I, I just also loved the um, whole kerfuffle with Phil going to the game. Can't believe they actually got Kobe Bryant um, to make a cameo there because I think obviously uh, he died um, a few year ago um, in that um, helicopter crash. I think it was, um, and that was a you know that was really really um, sad stuff there. And you know I n don't know basketball, but I think Kobe was one of the. Um, big like he was one of the most well-known names i guess in uh, basketball um but i know he made the headlines um in with his death and all of that um but it was just wild like like they got Kobe. we've had a few guest stars here that have blown my mind so i'll be very very intrigued to see if they're gonna like kind of if they're gonna kind of top that uh, in a sense because um i know when it came to um Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., for example, they actually got bloody Samuel L. Jackson um, to reprise. Like, he even played a very pivotal role in the final episode of season one. Spoiler alert, uh, I guess. But, I mean, it was just really, really wild. So, um, for something smaller scale than all of that. But, I mean, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. was pretty, pretty big stuff anyways. Like, especially with how... Uh, especially the early seasons heavily tied into the movies and all of that. So, yeah. Um, go and watch it, by the way. Funnily enough, uh, yeah, it's uh, another... Because I think this is ABC and... Is it ABC? I think it is. I don't know. Um, but um, I'm digressing. Just go and watch it. It's great. It's lovely. And one of the best shows ever. So... And it's canon to the MCU. What? Anyways. Uh, <laughs> I'm just stirring the pot here. Anyways, I digress. Um, yeah, the whole Phil and uh, Gloria situation was just wild. Like, especially when Phil... The reason why Phil was in trouble in the first place was because he declined his... He... he, he you know, when you're on your iPhone and you swipe right in terms of your call and all of that, if someone's calling you... 
You did that. You don't you don't decline your wife. You don't decline your partner. No way. So yeah. But of course, um Phil didn't account for that and thought he just got bollocked because of the kiss cam. So <laughs> and then it made I just love the icing on the cake was uh Jake um taking a, a quote that Luke took out of context and all of that because of Jay saying, you know, I have a favorite singer and I'll fight anyone who says they're not the greatest singer on, on this uh, planet. Like Luke said, uh, oh yeah, uh, dad's going to kill you because, uh, well, he didn't, he didn't include this part, but it was because of the fact that um, with um, Phil's comments, yeah, uh, it would contradict what Jay said, so... Yeah, uh, but that was just the icing on the cake because obviously Jay being Claire's dad and all. Yeah, so as well as the fact that he is with Gloria. So, yeah, uh, it was just really, really amazing. Uh, as soon as the kiss cam came up, I'm like, I know where this is going. Um, just because it's going to definitely make things like for Phil, he is definitely the old like we know he's so, so awkward and all of that. So. Yeah. But no, honestly, this was a really, really amazing way to conclude things uh, for this first season. But here we are. We are done with season one of Modern Family. One down, ten more to go. I'm excited to start season two and see what kind of hijinks unfolds there. But it's been a glorious um, season one. So I pretty much enjoyed my time with this first season. And hopefully um, that same sentiment can roll over into into season two so yeah but uh yeah until then i will see you guys next time hope you guys enjoyed this reaction you can check my videos on the right if you want to check out more of my content you can also subscribe to my media feeds and channel if you want to hope you guys enjoyed this reaction hope you guys take care and i will see you guys next time toodles <laughs>